Just in time for the holidays, I wanted to take a look at certain gaming laptops that won't break the bank, that really give you good gaming performance, good overall everyday performance, and not gaudy looking. I wanted it to be a bit more understated and classy looking at the same time. And what I found when I looked at all these different options is that they are few and far between. That's until I took delivery of the next laptop I'm about to introduce. It's made by Lenovo and it's the Lenovo Legion Y740. And when Lenovo asked me to check it out, I quickly jumped on it. Not only does it have a very powerful processor, a ninth generation Intel Core i7, it has a really good GPU, the RTX 2070 with max Q design, but it also has an understated look and I think it looks pretty classy actually. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my review of the Lenovo Legion Y740. Coming up. Like these type of videos? Well, why not hit that subscribe button? Make sure you hit that notification bell and check the box that gives you all the notifications. Now, of course, YouTube is not reliable and does not serve my videos to all my subscribers. Now, having said that, make sure you follow me on social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post videos on those platforms as well. And of course, as we always do in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Lenovo, I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. This review unit is on loan from Lenovo, and when this review is done, I am sending it back to Lenovo. Now the starting price is around $1,250, but my review unit as configured is $1,929.99. But there is a sale going on over at Lenovo right now that will save you $340 with a special coupon code. I will put the link below for more information where you can get it. It brings it down to $1,589.99. And considering this is a really good gaming laptop with a lot of really good specs, I think this is a really good deal. Again, I'll put the link below for more information. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. It has some pretty decent packaging and inside, of course, is a pretty robust 230 watt power adapter that uses Lenovo's own proprietary connector. I'm not crazy about it. It looks like a USB-C cable to me, but it's not. Now you also get some documentation as well as some safety and warranty information in the box. You also, of course, get the unit. And I have to say, I like that iron gray finish. It looks very understated. And for a gaming laptop, this is actually pretty thin and light. Not too bad as far as engineering is concerned. Now it has a pretty decent port selection. Let's start off on the left side. You get a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a Thunderbolt 3 port that does support four lanes. On the right side, you get one lone USB-A 3.1 Gen 2. But on the back is where most of the ports that you're going to need reside. You get a mini display port, an HDMI port, a USB-A 3.1 Gen 1, an Ethernet port, a second USB-A 3.1 Gen 1, the power port, and a Kensington lock port. And for those wondering, yes, the ports are marked on the rear lid. There's some Legion branding on the lid. It actually looks pretty decent, and it also lights up in different colors, which gives it a little bit of flair. And the keyboard also lights up in different colors in customizable patterns. Now, as far as the keyboard itself is concerned, it's pretty good, actually. I like the smile-shaped keys, nicely spaced out. It also has pretty good tactile feedback, and it doesn't feel like your fingers are going to bottom out. So I think they did a pretty decent job. It has a decent-sized trackpad with two physical mouse buttons. It also was pretty responsive when it comes to two-finger scrolling. In fact, I thought it was buttery smooth. All the Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. I think they did a good job. Now this has a very interesting display. It's a 144 hertz display, which is a really good refresh rate, especially when it comes to gaming. It's a 1080p panel. That's 1920 by 1080 as far as resolution is concerned. Now one of the chief complaints about the predecessor of this is that it had a very dim display around 235 nits or so, which is good, but not great. You wanna see something over 300 nits. Well, I'm happy to report that this refresh model with this new panel has a really bright display at 418 nits, making this one of the leaders in the gaming laptop category as far as screen brightness is concerned. It's also a very good display for both indoor and outdoor use. That's always great. 
It's got some really deep black, some very vibrant colors, and it covers the color gamut really well. 98% sRGB, 76% Adobe RGB. If you want to use this for Lightroom, Photoshop, or video editing, you have that option. It's a good panel. And this displays a Dolby Vision HDR 400 display. That means watching high dynamic range content is excellent on this panel. And as I mentioned, the 144Hz refresh rate is excellent for playing games. In addition to that, it's also G-Sync enabled, making it even better. And I also like the fact that it's a matte display. You're not looking at any high gloss here, so not a lot of reflections, not a lot of glare. That's always good. It has some really slim side bezels and a very thin top bezel. And that's because they were able to put the webcam on the bottom bezel. The consequence of that is you're going to have a thick bottom bezel. Not crazy about that. And I love the fact that the screen goes all the way back as you see here, giving you the best viewing angle each and every time. Other than that bottom bezel, I think this is a really nice looking display. I think they did a great job on it. Well, yep, where do we begin? As you can see, this front facing camera is located on the bottom bezel, not a good placement. Chin cam, up your nose, webcam, everything we don't like about webcams is here, 720p, 30 frames per second. The camera itself is okay. It's nothing special, nothing terrible, sort of middle of the road. But when it comes to the placement, it couldn't be any worse. Okay, let's talk performance. I have the refresh model. It has the core i7 9750H. That's a ninth generation Intel processor. It has six cores paired with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with Max-Q design, eight gigabytes of video memory. And in addition to the gaming, which we'll get to in just a moment, it can do everyday tasks really well. Now doing Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, of course, handled with a breeze. And as you can see from these results, such as the PC Mark 10 test, which is a good indicator of everyday use, it did really well. And not only is this a great productivity machine for getting work done, it also is a very good media consumption device. Watching things such as Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime movies on this are really good. But of course, we all want to know, well, how's the gaming? After all, this is a gaming laptop first and foremost. And I'm happy to report excellent on this device. That's thanks to that NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with Max Q design, aided by the 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 video RAM. Fortnite, Far Cry 5, Hitman 2016, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Battlefield 5 all had very playable frame rates on their highest settings. And keep in mind, I was able to play Fortnite on epic settings, very playable frame rates. And the Lenovo Vantage app allows you to control performance in the different modes as well as the thermal modes. Now, as far as upgradability is concerned, they make it easy to get inside this laptop, which is always great, especially with a gaming laptop if you want to add more RAM, if you want to add more SSD storage. Now, the RAM is protected by a metal shield. Be careful removing that, but you can upgrade the RAM as it is slotted in, so that's good. And as I mentioned, the SSD is also upgradable. Now, my review unit has two drives when it comes to storage, one 256GB SSD drive and one terabyte spinning 7200 RPM hard disk drive. And here's how the SSD did on the read and write test as well as the spinning hard disk drive. So you can see the difference between the two in terms of speed. Now, when it comes to audio, I'd say it's good, not great. They have two downward facing speakers that are Dolby Atmos. So you do get some presets as far as the equalizer is concerned. They do get loud enough, although their bass could be a little bit better. I would say these are good, again, not great. Now, when it comes to thermals, I think Lenovo did a decent job. In fact, when I played 15 minutes of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it got 103 degrees on the bottom, which actually isn't bad considering that's a pretty intensive task. That's a pretty heavy load on this laptop. So I think they did a decent job with the thermals. Remember, there are two fans in there, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, and they do kick in under heavy load. You will notice them, but again, the thermals are pretty decent on this laptop. The Lenovo Legion Y740 has a 57 watt hour battery, and that's actually on the small side for a gaming laptop. And Lenovo claims up to five hours of battery on this laptop, and that's not what I got. I got two hours and 47 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi Fi at 150 nits. The good news is, with that 230 watt power adapter, it charges under two hours, which is very good. But again, battery life is lacking on this device. 
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Lenovo Legion Y740? The refreshed model, is it worth your hard-earned money? And the answer is yes, absolutely is. I like its bright 144 hertz, full HD G-Sync display. It's also an HDR Dolby Vision display that looks absolutely gorgeous, even at a full HD resolution. I like its excellent performance out of that ninth generation Core i7. I like the strong GPU performance out of that RTX 2070 with Max-Q design. It's it's got an attractive understated look for a laptop that is considered a gaming laptop and I like the fact that there are user replaceable parts including the RAM and the SSD storage. As far as the port selection it's a reasonably good port selection although you don't get an SD card reader which is a little bit of a miss. Now I like the keyboard it's comfortable it's an RGB keyboard and I love the precision touchpad very responsive. There are no real deal breakers here ladies and gentlemen I would say the below average battery life is one of them and the poor placement of the webcam. But again, not deal breakers. I'm gonna give the Lenovo Legion Y740 gaming laptop a score of 86%, making it worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Lenovo Legion Y740, the refresh here for late 2019. And the differences between this and the predecessor is that this has a really a nice full HD display, a brighter display, a G-Sync display with 144 hertz refresh rate. It's an HDR Dolby Vision display, an HDR 400. It gets up to about 418 nits or so in brightness, which is very good. And that's a step up from the last generation of this, which didn't get bright enough in my opinion. This definitely does the job. Now, under the hood, you're going to find that Core i7. It's the Intel 9th generation six core processor, performed really well, as you saw from the benchmarks. And that's also aided by the fact that this has the RTX 2070 with Max-Q design, eight gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. So put it all together, you get a really nice gaming laptop. I think Lenovo did a decent job in terms of the cooling. It's got plenty of heat vents all along the sides and on the bottom. I think they did a really good job in terms of the heat management. And I think this is a really good value. Right now you can pick one up for about 1,600 or so dollars. That's down over $340 from its original asking price. And I have to say, if you're in the market for a gaming laptop that not only can do the gaming, of course, but you could do video editing, you can do all sorts of things on this laptop and it handles it with a breeze. I'm very impressed with the performance on this. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, it only has a 57 watt hour battery, which is certainly on the small side, especially for a gaming laptop. And having said that, you're not going to get the five hours that Lenovo claims you're gonna get on this. You're looking at two hours and 47 minutes on my continuous web surfing test. So not very good in terms of battery life. But people that are looking for a gaming laptop aren't so concerned with the battery life. They're obviously concerned with the performance, with the heat management, and all the things that go with that. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of the Legion Y740? I think it's a great deal right now. I'll put the link below for where you can buy this over at Lenovo. And I think they're onto something here. Great expandability. You can get it with a combo drive, which is what I have here. A combination SSD drive with a spinning hard disk drive. So we want more storage. This gives it to you, that's for sure. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the all Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo Legion. Whew. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo Legion something or other. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo gaming something.